going to the chocolate factory? They must be mad! Morning, George! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Doesn't fit. So I'll have one of those before we go. Get me in the mood, eh? Cameraman, get your jacket on now. Get your jacket on and your hat. I'm ready. Great, off we go. Come on then. Which one is it? <laughs> DJ Boons. Excellent. excellent. You smell the chocolate excellent. already. Excellent. Just fit me in my face. Yeah. They make just one dairy milk. But before we begin, how did they begin? Cadbury's go way back. They started selling chocolate in the 1830s. They soon outgrew their first factory and moved to Bourneville, just outside of Birmingham. That's where I live. They're still there today. The basic product hasn't really changed in all that time, but the way they make it has. It used to all happen in one factory, making the chocolate, printing the wrappers, wrapping the bars. It's spread all over the place now. Roses, the brightest, most delicious chocolates. The Cadbury brand is a household name. They're like part of the family. Cadbury's Roses, Roses with love. That cuddly image still works for them today. They sell over half a billion bars of chocolate a year. Well, that was history. Now for a bit of geography, because to get to this, you have to start a long way from here. Chocolate comes from the cocoa plant. Cadbury's get most of their cocoa from the plantations in Ghana. They tear the pods from the trees, bash them open and take the beans out. The beans are dried out in the open and shipped off to Britain. First destination, Cadbury's factory in Chirk, North Wales, where the beans are cleaned and roasted in these rotating drums. Then they're broken into smaller pieces and the shells removed. After that, they're mashed into a sort of paste called cocoa mass. At this stage, they take out what's called the cocoa butter, a rich, fatty, buttery stuff. They don't throw it away though, they're going to put it back in later. The cocoa mass, minus the cocoa butter, is then sent to another factory near Hereford, where they mix it with condensed milk and sugar. The mixture is then dried into a lumpy powder called chocolate crumb. The crumb is sent to the Bourneville factory, which is where I came in 